Hey man, what it is? This is Dame, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go to the Cash App, dollar sign Dean by any means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. It works. There go to the PayPal at Dean by any means. Y'all can hit that super chat too. It's right at the bottom of this video. Y'all know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It is much, much, much appreciated, y'all. Hey, y'all, I catch lies in real time. Y'all know what Dean do. I got to do this for all of the earthmen around. It's this notion going around, y'all, that nobody cares about Lamont Roach and Gervonta Davis. Nobody wants to see the fight. Nobody cares. It's a cherry pick. Blah, zay, blah, zay. Interesting. Well, why is that all that anybody is talking about then if don't nobody care? Have y'all asked yourself that question? Have y'all ever seen people not care about something and then talk about it this much? I wonder. Ain't the presidential election coming up? What's the main thing people talking about? Inflation, taxes, and, and grocery prices, right? If ain't nobody care about those things, then why are they the main things that get mentioned in the presidential election? Can some of the earthmen please tell me? You got Devin Haney fans, even Shakur fans, Loma fans, T.O. fans, whoever fans. All saying nobody cares about this fight and it's unacceptable. But you got Timothy Bradley and them on their broadcast that's not even a part of PBC or Amazon Prime talking about it, though. You got these YouTube channels that call Javante Davis a duck and he's zesty and all of these things. But they make three, four hour lives about it. You got people saying Javante Davis got to go to 140, but all of their Instagram posts and Twitter posts lately are about how not great Javante Davis is, what he could be doing better. He should be chasing greatness. Don't nobody want to see Lamont Roach, but you're talking about him. You're literally, if nobody was interested, you're helping them be interested. Thank you, Earthman. If nobody was interested, well, you putting that propaganda out about it is helping the fight, which is going to make people interested. You can't make this up with these earthmen. I swear to God, you can't make it up. Don't nobody care? Then why are y'all hopping on panels to express yourself so much about why don't nobody care about the fight? If The last time I checked, fights don't nobody care about, they don't talk about. Tim Zhu is about to fight Murta Zaliev tonight. How many of YouTube videos have y'all seen today about Tim Zhu and Murta Zaliev? Huh. It's interesting, ain't it? It's funny. Adrian Broner Fort Blair Cobb. People didn't really talk about it. Why is that, Earthman? Because people really didn't care. Yeah. That's why. See, people talk about things that they actually care about. So even if you don't like the tank fight, you wanted to be her and express yourself so much about it, which means you do care because you have to comment on it. You have to talk about it. You have no choice. You're going to be talking about Lomachenko and him retiring. Somebody going to bring tank up. You got Arthur Baturbiev. Um, trainer and them talking about why Javante Davis is not a Hall of Famer and not fighting the best people. He is at 175 and this guy just went undisputed. Why are you talking about Javante Davis? Do you know why, y'all? Because they care. That's why. It's jealousy. They wish that their fighter was Javante Davis. And, it, and, they're, and they're so frustrated that he gets all of this attention and things like that. And they just, they don't think he deserves it. The problem about grown men telling other grown men what they do deserve, same thing you hear about Bronny James. Y'all 40-some-year-old grown men trying to tell a 19-year-old what he deserves. But you don't hear them talking about the 53rd pick. You don't hear them talking about the 54th pick. You don't hear them talking about the 56th pick. Hey, y'all, I did my research. None of those picks are playing better than Bronny James. Actually, they not even getting in the game or even putting up stats. And when they did get in the game, they didn't do anything. 
But do you hear the media talking about the 53rd, the 54th, and the 56th pick in the NBA draft? No. Why? Because they don't care. They only care because it's LeBron James' son. They literally care. Y'all don't seem too uninterested to me. And then, if don't nobody care about the fight, then that means that you should be making videos saying that it's not going to sell out. Because I've never seen a fight sell out that people don't care about. Yeah, I ain't never seen that before. So they don't care about it. They don't want to watch it, but people are going to pay. pay They're going to buy pay-per-views and, and sell out the Toyota Arena. Ryan Garcia versus Oscar Diorte took place in the same exact arena that Gervonta Davis and Lamont Roach is going to take place in. Yep, 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 absolutely it did. Guess what, y'all? That barely broke a, a, a million-dollar live gate. Why? Because people didn't care about it. That's why I wasn't on pay-per-view. People didn't care what's talking about it. So unless you're saying that Lamont Roach and Gervonta Davis is going to be a failure, He's going to sell 150,000 pay-per-views, 100,000 pay-per-views. He only going to do a $3 million live gate, $2 million live gate. Unless you are saying that, then you're literally out here lying. You literally don't believe what you're trying to promote. Because if you is going to say, nah, Dean, it probably do do 300,000, 350,000 pay-per-views. It probably do get sold out. Then don't that mean that people care? It's just Javante Davis haters don't care. We don't care if you care, sir. You're not a Javante Davis fan. Why should he care? I want the Devin Ham fans and even the Shakur fans that's not Javante Davis fans. I want y'all to uh, answer this question. Why should Javante Davis or Tank fans care if you care? You don't buy the fights anyway. You don't, you're not a fan of him, right? So what difference does it make what you think? I'm just saying, y'all. And if you're going to say, well, Dean, I, I buy the fights. I'm going to still buy the fight. Then me, that means you need to shut up because obviously you're interested in it if you're going to buy the fight, Earth man. If you're going to stream the fight you care about, see, that's what a lot of these people do. You're still going to watch. All I see anybody talking about on panels and everywhere is Javante Davis, Lamont Roach, what Gary Russell Jr. said, what, 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 what Arthur Baturbia trainer said, what Timothy Bradley said. All of that is surrounded by Javante, Tank Davis, and Lamont Roach. You got D.C. people. I'm from D.C. We don't feel that. No, I'm from D.C. We do feel that. I'm from Baltimore. We don't feel that. I'm from Baltimore. We do feel that. It sounds like people care to me. <clears throat> or maybe I should just, maybe I should listen to y'all and, 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 and not my, my own two ears. Maybe I should uh, believe what you see and not my lying eyes. <laughs> I guess my YouTube feed don't work. <laughs> it seems like to me, people care a lot. They care so much that they got to make narratives and do lives every day about it. They care so much that they on Twitter arguing, bickering. Yo, I got people in my DM talking about they going to pull up on me. And then when I respond, they don't respond and don't pull up on me after saying they was going to pull up on me before. That's how much people don't care. <laughs> this is why y'all love Dean. I love you too. I promise you I do. I love you too. Cause you ain't gonna get it like you, y'all. One thing y'all know when y'all come here, you're gonna get a different perspective. I might even talk about the same topic, but it's gonna definitely be from a different point of view. This is the most uninterested, interesting fight I have ever seen. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? And then they talk about it's gonna be a stacked undercard, yeah. People care. People care a lot. Gary Russell Jr. cares so cares so much that he had to come out here and get on the media tour about it. <laughs> Timothy Bradley think it's so unacceptable that he got to get on TV and give the man press about how it's unacceptable. You don't even work for Amazon Prime or the PBC. 
What do you care? What is it your business? What Javante Davis is doing, Tim Bradley? You are an admitted guy that say you don't like Javante Davis. Why should he care what you think? Do y'all care what people think that don't like you? I just want a yes or no answer. Do you care what people think that don't like you? <clears throat> it's like me getting mad at Devin Haney for not caring what I think. Devin, you ain't got to care what Dean think. I just have been right about I just have been right about you every step of the way. That's all. You ain't got to care. I don't care if you care or not. I still support Devin. I never say Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia is uninteresting. Don't nobody want to see Devin Haney next fight. <laughs> Even though y'all don't support y'all guy the way y'all say y'all do. Because if y'all did, he would be doing over 150,000, 70,000. Because this 300,000 pay-per-view buy is an absolute lie. I think Oscar Forgetty already said the fight flop a couple months ago. Whatever. I don't know how I don't know how I'll fight flop and then you sell 300,000 pay-per-views. I don't know how that's possible. I ain't never heard of that. Have y'all heard of that? I ain't never heard of that. So, y'all know what this is, though, right? Dean, by any means. And I holla at y'all.